questioning everything with Garrett and Adam. My point I was going to say, though, is about these structures. Have you ever been there? Because I haven't. And it's funny enough, once again, I was just watching a Joe Rogan clip talk, talking to Joe St. Pierre, like that retired UFC legend dude. And even he, he was bringing up fucking Anunnaki and uh, Zachariah Sitchin. Like, I was like, whoa, it's pretty common knowledge. But Joe was saying that some of his friends have been to the pyramids. And like, when you go there, it's just like, holy fuck. Just the scale. This, just the, yeah. Just you're standing there. You see it on pictures. You're like, wow. You see all these documentaries. Then you go there and you see the Great Pyramid. And you're like, what the fuck? So. So what? Uh, just, it's impressive. So that's aliens? Not necessarily. Don't patronize me. <laughs> wow. Okay, Where are we going were with gonna this? Say? You were going to go, well, I was going with the fact that, yeah, I mean, I think that we... I we don't have I think our brains don't conceive of like the possibilities man what what people are capable of for sure but why can't they rebuild any of that why can't they do half the stuff nowadays with all this technology I work around big machines and stuff man they can't you know like modern technology just can't apparently create this these structures like cutting stone like you're gonna say school bus size pieces of stone in even Lebanon, big, that even fit bigger. perfectly bigger. What is it? What do you think it is, man? Just oh, I have no idea what it is. Uh, well, people, people is the people's all we have, right? So, it's like, what is it made out of? Atoms? Well, yeah, because atoms is fuck all we have. So it's definitely made out of atoms. To me, it's definitely made from people. There's no question about it. I don't see why aliens would make a fucking pyramid out of stone, right? Like because it could be like a energy fucking portal or some kind, or they just think that there's some like it's there's something to it that we just don't get. The, the idea of the mountain where they're using it as a mountain for triangulating a landing pad, that's not unreasonable. That's kind of cool idea. Ish. Yeah, that's right. Ish. Who is it? Graham Hancock though dismisses all of this pretty pretty well. Well, it's great. Um, it's pretty dismissible. Right. First of all, there's no evidence for it. And the burden of evidence is in the person making the claim. Uh, so anybody who dismisses it because their foot's itchy has a pretty good reason to. Uh, because you haven't actually given anybody anything to accept except for an idea, which great idea. But there's no aliens at the Giza. Like there's no alien bones. And again, it's a stone pyramid. It's cool. It's a, it's a testament to what people knew and what they're capable of and what their interests were. I think people's interests back then were a lot different. Even from Greek period, you can see the remnants of Egypt and the real importance of astronomy and ge geometry and math that, you know, as life got easier and people got more comfortable, they maybe got distracted in other things i don't know but the pyramids are a huge testament of the interests of the goals and the the modus operandi of the people at the time for them to actually do that is almost ridiculous like why a pyramid i don't know right well three of them and then a bunch of little ones well and the, other first, ones one, all over the, the world. first one's the old one Right. The, the other pyramid, two, yeah, the, yeah, the Great Pyramid appears to be the old one, and the, you know the one with Khufu written in it. I don't, I don't. It's buy. not Khufu. It's actually been was was what's his name that went in there and vandalized that. The only hieroglyphs or any writing in there is from uh, that French kung guy. Oh my god, I sound so dumb. I don't know. I thought it was Khufu written on the inside, so that's why they say it's built. Napoleon went in there. No, 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 no. I'm talking about the pharaoh's name that's in there which is who they attribute the building of it to oh it's, why right? is it a tomb but there's so much history okay, well, and the yeah, top I, the top could have been repaired why so many megalithic and, structures though all over the place randomly and why pyramids it's just seen like it just i don't know there's so many yeah. whatever you're, ne uh, you're never interesting really gonna, it's, it's interesting it's weird man the problem is the problem is if you want to never know the truth then decide what things are right fair enough so one and once you decide it that's it you're you're done you're convinced well i'd be open to if someone walked up and was like yo dude i'm so I, like listen up man like i know you really wanted the aliens to be real and you wanted the pyramids to be alien stuff but like here, here we just we just discovered that 
it was slaves and they had some like they were all smoking peyote and they got superhuman strength oh, we got to figure it out it's not aliens i'd be like oh fuck that sucks but okay cool you can't let uh is that your point yeah you can't let somebody disputing noah's ark shake your faith if you, if you were a, if you were a deep faith christian who believes in the, your relationship with christ and somebody's like you know what noah's ark sounds like a bunch of bullshit to me you can't let that shake your faith, faith because is important man. um noah's ark is a bunch of bullshit faith. no matter how you spin it and what you know about your relationship with the universe is is not relevant to some legend within that dogma you know it's it's just you don't so I whether or not saying. whether or not aliens are real isn't isn't contingent on whether or not they built the pyramids i can dispute that aliens didn't build the pyramids and i'm not s- suggesting necessarily that they've never been here i'm just saying i think that there's that really no weird. reason to believe that they built like then again every single me- megalithic uh thing in the entire world was aliens what about race of giants that like well kelly i'm not okay so like when you say they built the pyramids like i don't think they just flew down here and were like hey we're gonna build them like what about the giants? What if there was mega? What if there was giants that came from gods from other fucking solar systems, and they helped build? And there was, I don't know. There's just probably there could be a whole like. It's the human imagination. That's where it goes, right? Advertisement loading. Hey guys, sorry to interrupt the podcast here, but we got a little bit of an announcement. What's going on, Adam? Well, everybody should head on over to uh, Patreon and the Questioning Everything Patreon page, where they can show their support by becoming a champion for only $5 per month. The Sophist tier of Patreon gives you not only access to the backstage areas of Discord and the stage area, but allows you to voice chat and text chat in those areas. So you can give us feedback on the show and join the conversation. If you just want to show your support and you don't want to join the Discord, there are a couple tiers for you, or you can join a Discord tier and simply not even use it. It's up to you. Yeah.